Hello and welcome to The Diary Room in association with British Star Collective and Alcatel 2017 where I am joined with Henry Holland. Hi. Hi. How are you? How's your day going? It's all right, thanks. Uh, yeah, I got in late last night so I was a bit tired. Mm. So I've kind of picked it up throughout the day. But we were both just saying we've got a bit of like three o'clock lull, haven't we? I'm in need of sugar. Yeah. Uh, so I think uh, a black coffee and a chocolate bar and I think I'll be right back on it. <laughs> Good to know. Or, or, maybe you can, <laughs> or maybe you can pick me up with this interview, who knows. But, you know, Great I'm not, to know you're on <laughs> fighting form for me. I'm not holding out much hope, so I'm putting in an order for a coffee and a chocolate bar off camera, thank you. I'll take a Snickers. Great. Uh, what have you been up to today? Uh, so this morning uh, I did a Q&A with Antonia O'Brien. Yeah. I did a quarter Antonio then. Um, <laughs> and that was good. Just talking about kind of my journey into the industry and, uh, and a bit about my career. And then later on this afternoon, I'm doing another panel discussion with some fabulous women. Uh, some of whom I do know who they are. Some of them I don't. We love yeah. the element of surprise yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, and um, we're talking about fashion things. And it, have you got any advice for anyone who does want to get into fashion, very quickly, for, for someone watching who maybe can't make it down? Yeah, you've, first of all, you've got to really, really want to do it. And you've got to live and breathe and sleep fashion because it is a lot of hard work, it's a lot of commitment, and it is way more than a job. It's, it's just, it completely takes over your life. But if you, love, if you love it, then it doesn't feel like you'll ever do a day's work in your life. It's beautiful. Uh, talk to me about your outfit today because you are such a stylish man. I feel like a skip next to you. We're basically dressed in the same outfit though. Yeah, but I feel like yours is just that little bit more zhuzhi chic. This shirt, incredible. Yeah, so we, my shirt's from Givenchy uh, sale shop. Uh, <laughs> and my trousers are from Lombard. And my t-shirt is from uh, a, a place called Misbehave. I mean, there's so, so many euphemisms there, I don't really know where to go um, with that. It's Misbehave without the vowels. <laughs> Misbehave. <laughs> Misbehave. <laughs> Misbehave. <laughs> I don't know how you say it, so I just say misbehave. Misbehave. <laughs> that is, I'm sure, what that brand always wanted. They're very cool, so I'm sure they just say, we well, don't have a name. Misbehave. Look now, them up. <laughs> now, stop getting me giggly. Uh, I need you to just clear your mind. Okay. I need you to get zen. And yeah. I feel, I feel that Henry is going to be amazing at this quick fire round. I, two things that I should tell you before we start this. Number one, I adore quick fire rounds. And number Great. two, uh, I started my career at Smash Hits magazine where I used to have to do this and ask very similar questions to other people. And so I'm not going to blow my own trumpet, but I am a bit of an expert about quick fire rounds. So don't f*** <laughs> it up. I am feeling pressure. Yeah. Who's the most famous? Pa no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <'cause you're> <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most famous person you've met? Uh, Rihanna. Biggest fear. Uh, getting mildly run over and having to walk away. Oh my gosh. Uh, pet hate? <laughs> uh, rudeness. Soundtrack to your life? Rihanna. Oh, amazing. Uh, where was your best date? Uh, Paris. Where would you go on an ideal date? Um, uh, somewhere rural. Lovely. Raw. Uh, <laughs> what's, what is your favourite restaurant? <laughs> uh, uh, Jay Sheik is in London. Oh, darling, love it. Uh, what's your biscuit of choice? Uh, the caramel wafer ones for uh, Stockton's or something. Gold and red and white wrapper. I know it well. Uh, what's your fabric of choice? Silk. Favourite flower? Uh, peony. Can you twerk? You don't have to show me. No. Uh, what's your pet hate? Uh, people being rude and late. Word of choice? Uh, Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> well, you've said, you've said every <laughs> other word, so don't worry about it. Uh, what's your favourite bird? I don't like birds. They scare the crap out of me because they move too fast and near your face. Pigeons, nightmare. Uh, board game of choice? Uh, Cluedo. What's the first single you've ever bought? Uh, Glenn Medeiros, nothing's going to change my love for you. If you were going to be reincarnated <laughs> as a lettuce, what would you pick? As uh, a leaf? Iceberg, because it's common and we used to eat it for tea. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any alter egos? <laughs> Loads. <laughs> Can I meet one? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> uh, where was your first kiss? Uh, in an alleyway by some garages. With a boy or a girl? 
Either. I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't ask that it's, question. It's, I mean, it's Pride Weekend. I gave you the girl answer. The boy uh, in a nightclub. What's your favourite piece of jewellery? Um, the one that I just got told to hide by a man. That's devastating. What's your party trick? Um, uh, Backflips. You've got to an amazing point in your career. This is probably a pinch me moment right now. But what was the first pinch me moment in your career? Uh, my first ever fashion show. And if you could play one person in the film, who would you play? Oh, uh, oh gosh, the last one's just really screwed me up. Uh, one person. I'm really good at quick fire rounds. Yeah, I know. Oh. One person in the film. What, if I was to play them or if they were to play me? If you were to play them. Mm. Do you love how it's my rules here? Mm. Uh, someone, uh, someone really attractive, so I'd have to like really go to the gym as part of the part. Uh, I'm going to, I would choose Aaron Brockovich. We'll wrap up with my answer because <laughs> yeah, yours was so mine good. Was, <laughs> mine was so good. That's all you got, lady. Two wrong feet and f***ing ugly shoes. Best line of any film ever. I Thank agree. you, Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> uh, Henry Holland, you've been amazing in the diary room. I am going to find out and meet his alter egos uh, in a moment. If you want to watch any more backstage activity, please use the hashtag British Star Collective across all social media channels. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>